Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crilly back with another How to Draw video. Um, drawing faces in profile uh, can be incredibly difficult, so what I'm going to do today is give you a kind of down and dirty method for uh, drawing a uh, masculine looking face in profile, fairly realistic. Let's get started with some guidelines. I'm um, going to draw a circle to begin with. Um, just It doesn't have to be perfect, just keep it kind of loose. Um, all of this stuff gets erased in the end anyway. And uh, so we got this circle in place. And this is maybe a little bit tricky because you've got to pay attention to the angle that you do this at. I have a somewhat unconventional method of uh, drawing a face in profile that I've worked out. Let's start with just a simple uh, vertical line here. Uh, and that's eventually going to show us where to put the ears. But these angles of these lines are kind of crucial. See if you can figure it's a slight diagonal line coming off the top. Uh, come over here and do the same thing coming off the bottom. And here's where it gets a little bit tricky. We want to get, uh, we want to divide this into thirds. But the basic idea is to make the middle third just a little bit uh, larger than the other two thirds. So you can see the way I'm doing this, just that, that middle third, just a little bit larger. And all of this stuff is going to help us figure out where to place uh, the different things in the profile. Um, let's start here uh, and do a gentle curving line that slowly pulls away from the face and stops around here somewhere. And this is going to help us. Uh, uh, if, if you look at the distance from here to here and the distance from here to this sort of second line, they are almost the same. That's a little guideline for uh, helping you know how to do this curving line here. And I know this is all really kind of boring, these guidelines. Bear with me. Um, but it can be very helpful uh, for getting all the lines eventually in just the right place. So let's look here uh, at this middle section. And this is where we're going to start to draw the nose. Um, and look at the distance between these two lines. If you get a kind of a third of that distance, uh, that is where the tip of the nose is going to be. And watch how I do this. I'm drawing, it's sort of like an upside down L almost, what I'm doing. This is going to be the upper part of the brow, uh, forehead, coming down to the tip of the nose. Okay, so if you get that in place, uh, you're good to move on to the next part. Sadly, this next part also fairly tricky, um, uh, but see if you can do this. Um, I don't know how to describe this shape too much or too well. It's a little bit like a um, drawing, a very simple drawing of a bird <laughs> in flight, like when you're a kid. You, you draw this sort of M shape, only we're doing it on its side a little bit. So if you see this, it's sort of, I don't know, it's like it's flattened M almost. And this is going to help us eventually draw the lips and the mouth area. Down here, if we can get another line, that's going to be for the bottom of the chin. And this is easy enough. We can pretty much follow that curving line that we began to get the top of the uh, forehead. Um, let's go ahead and darken this line, and that's going to be the jaw. Like I said, this is going to be a very masculine face, so he's going to have a very strong jaw. And um, I'm going to try to zoom in a little for the rest of it so you guys can get a little more of the details. We're going to zoom in for doing the eyes. All right, now we're ready to start drawing the eyes, and uh, this first, uh, or kind of the second diagonal uh, line that we put in there is a good guideline for getting in the upper eye uh, lid. Um, look at the circle where you are here, and uh, just try to uh, get a sense of the distance between here and here. It's quite a small distance. The eye is much closer to the edge of the circle than it is to that first line that we drew. Um, and different artists will choose to make the eye larger or smaller. I'm not going to get too much into the line by line of uh, uh, how to draw this eye. It's got a fair number of lines composing it. But uh, if you follow along, I think you can get a... It has a sort of a triangular shape here. almost looks like a piece of candy corn. <laughs> How's that for a memorable way of remembering how to draw this? Now we're going to get another line in here for the um, upper eye lid, the sort of fold of flesh above the upper eyelid. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, indicate the 
iris. Got a simple dot in there. And notice how when we add in the eyebrow, it's going to really help to intensify this expression. Again, starting right here at, the, at that first circle that we drew way back at the beginning. Um, and uh, try to follow the angle here uh, if indeed you want to have this kind of intense facial expression that this guy's got. Not, it's not all that intense, but kind of serious looking, let's say. Um, and if you want to modify this line just a little bit, I told you earlier that it can f follow that first curve, but you can make it even more uh, serious looking if we give it just a little indentation here. And this is what we might call a near profile. Uh, it's not an absolute profile. If you want to have fun with this, I see a lot of manga artists do this. Um, you just indicate a little bit of that other eye. Uh, just sort of peeking around the uh, top of the nose, and this helps kind of give a cool effect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, underside of the nose here. Um, uh, again, I'm putting in just a little extra line here to kind of indicate the other side of the nostril. Um, but the main thing we want to be concerned with is uh, figuring out where uh, this first nostril goes. And we are kind of looking up at this guy. This is something that we see a lot in uh, the Bleach comics. It's kind of a cool effect. It's sort of like um, we are he's tall, uh, taller than we are as the viewer, and we're sort of looking up to him. It helps give this sort of heroic look and notice that the other side of the nostril um, lands pretty neatly on that first circle that we drew. I'm actually gonna, people always say, hey you never erase. Well look, I'm erasing today, I'm gonna try to tone down this nostril. Um, you really want to keep the nostril subtle or else it gets this sort of pig, pig-like look, which we certainly don't want. I'm going to go ahead and erase a little bit of the guideline, although I'm going to, later on I'm going to do a complete erase of all the guidelines. And if you want to, you can just drop in a little extra line here that sort of indicates the bottom of the uh, area of the eye, the indentation, I guess, of, of the face there. And why not go ahead and drop in uh, an indication of his cheekbone. Uh, make this guy more heroic looking. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and shift my focus down to the mouth area now. Okay, so now we're going to draw the mouth. Not too many lines involved here, uh, thankfully, but using that first uh, diagonal line as a guideline, um, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a line for the upper lip. Notice that the mouth comes to a stop before it reaches that first circle. You can use that as a guideline. Um, this guy's got his mouth kind of slightly open and um, it's again I call this a sort of a near profile and uh, again we're adding just a little extra detail here um, to that uh, what did I call it a seagull shape kind of thing at the beginning just to indicate with the the parting of the lips and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do just a little light indication of the upper lip here uh, maybe shade that in a little bit um, but otherwise, I'm not going to get into too many more details. That sometimes you can wreck a drawing by adding more and more lines, uh, especially in the area of the mouth and the nose. So I'm going to just kind of stop that for there. Maybe just touch on the uh, teeth. Get a little line in here to indicate that. And uh, believe it or not, that's probably enough right there. Down here, um, I'm going to be uh, doing the, the bottom of the chin connecting to the neck, but I think just to save time, keep this video a little short, we're going to have to do this next part in time lapse. So I'm going to pull back and, and kind of finish the drawing off in time lapse and then give you some final tips uh, to end the video.
All right, well, there you have it, my little method for getting a uh, masculine-looking face in profile or near profile, uh, as I said. Um, I know drawing a face in profile can be so tricky. The angles and the lines, the relationships here, there's so many things to pay attention to, but hopefully this gave you a few tips uh, for getting it right. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos, and thanks to anyone and everyone who has picked up Brody's Ghost, my new graphic novel series from Dark Horse. Really appreciate hearing from those of you who have bought it and read it. And uh, thanks just for watching the videos and for leaving your comments. I try to read them all. Uh, I really do appreciate your support. I hope you found this video useful, and I will be back with another one real soon.